The Jat Suites, located at 30 Lobito Crescent, will say two. Looks like any other guest house, but the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency says it isn't. Investigations reveal drugs are sold and drugged young ladies are camped in the facility for commercial sex. The agency is warning that they will pursue all legal avenues to ensure such property is forfeited to the federal government to serve as deterrent to others who allow their premises to be used for drug dealing. There's another room where arrest was made and uh, paraphernalia of um, crack cocaine was also recovered and I think uh, we have three persons taken from the two. Okay, lady and the guy. Yeah. The paraphernalia was recovered from the lady's bag and another one from the other corner of the room. If you look at the main entrance of this premises, you will not see any name of a hotel. In other words, it's only doors that are non customers that will get into these premises. Mostly girls who are kept here sometimes by some notable or very you know, highly placed individuals for months, for weeks, for days. And uh, they patronize, you know, uh, these uh, drug dealers and sellers within the premises. We have seen the bar there where they sell this thing to them so that they could seduce their victims and also have fun here. The agency also warned against the creation and sales of confectionaries and other products laced with illicit substances. They say there is an increasing trend of such activities across the nation. Uh, what you are seeing here are uh, different assorted types of drugs, cookies, brownies, and gummies. Now we even have gummies, according to one of the correspondents there. So the gummies came from abroad, and we monitored it coming from UK until we seized it here in the FCT. While some of these brownies you are seeing are not only found in some hotels, they are also found in some of the parks, gardens, and recreation centers in the FCT. There are a lot of people now, a lot of young girls who are engaged in the production of these uh, brownies and cookies and they sell same to people and I mean in parties, particularly in some parks. The NDLEA says its officers will continue to raid parks and other places where such products and ventures are patronized while whistleblowers will be appreciated. Ferdinand Duroha, Arise News.